What is up, Savage Farmer? Back in today with another video with the, another blue SC300 that's here right now. This is one of our shop cars, one of my really, really close friends, Alex's car. It's got a 1.5 JZ non BBTI in it that we built last year. Uh, he's had the build the car for about a year now, and the car did about 560 uh, something wheel last time on AMV1, and uh, very conservative, just nice, clean show car, kind of street car. Um, we're converting over to AEM Infinity right now. It's got Brian Cower 264 cams, a Comp 6865 with a 68AR on it. It's got a full three inch exhaust. We got um, a four, full Kings, uh, Kings Royal intake manifold as we typically always do. Some uh, 2100, uh, 2150 CC injectors that are in it and um, just a bunch of super, super nice stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little overview of the car so you guys can see how nice this thing is and we'll get into what we're gonna be doing today. guys so that's enough of that so i've already made as you can see on the floor right here his brand new wiring harness for the aem infinity uh he was already on one of my harnesses to begin with but if you don't know i make all these wiring harnesses from scratch and it takes me a long time but i'm pretty good at it because i've done quite a few of these things now uh so anyways um we're gonna be changing over his old harness for this new one that i've already made um and uh it's plug and play right to his 506 box uh before there was a few little things we're gonna go ahead and change. For some reason, this car has a voltage issue um, for the charging system and stuff too. So I went ahead and integrated another uh, fusible link that's gonna be going to his starter. Um, and then as far as what we're doing right I'm now, doing the PTFE line right now on the floor, we're getting all this situated. If you haven't seen our other video, um, the powerhouse racing assembly is there. He has a Dutchworks fuel filter that we use for the majority of all of our builds. Um, that we mounted here too. We're gonna kind of make it look a little bit different than all the rest of the cars. I like being able to get to everything. It makes it uh, very, very nice. I have my twin relays that are gonna be going to my setup that I do for all of my Infinity systems. I will be wiring in for all the Mark IVs and, and all the other cars that are gonna be typical Lexus stuff. You'll have a two pin connector, Deutsch connector that'll go directly to your ECU. There's two wires here, obviously for two pumps that are in there. This hanger will take three fuel pumps, um, but in the case of Alex's car, we're probably only gonna be needing twin because twin will get us to about a thousand horsepower you don't really need much more than that for a stock street car so anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and start making the lines we're gonna do a little loop right here into the filter we've already went ahead and put a uh grommet in the chassis back here that i will show you after we're done assembling it it's back here uh in the chassis um we're gonna go ahead and run that line all the way down to the front of the engine up in front so let's get this done real quick and i'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing okay now. guys so fuel system is all done it looks super badass in the back back there. Um, we'll test the pumps in a minute when we're done. And I already went ahead and got the old wiring harness out and in a box, got the new one over here that I gotta go ahead and get installed. Me and Alex are getting everything cleaned up right now so it can look at least decent for dyno and then you can do all the finishing touches later. So let's get this brand new beautiful harness installed and uh, hopefully get this thing started. It's not gonna take much unlike uh, Justice car to get done because all we're gonna have to do on this car is basically convert to infinity put the fuel system stuff together and then pretty much it's going to be the whole entire thing on this um we are changing it to rm54 i'm not sure if we're going to be going ahead and doing that before dyno or after dyno it's going to depend on time uh danny is booked for the whole entire month of june so you definitely don't want to ever lose your tuning dates with him because he's very 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 busy and uh, he's nice enough to always let me pick at the beginning of the month whatever dates I want and uh, get it all going and let me know what the, the schedule's gonna be. So um, without any more uh, bullshitting, let's get this on. How's it going, baby? <laughs> so we have these fittings that we uh, produce for all of your 1.5 J stuff or anything you're gonna be going from 1 8th BSP to uh, 1 8th NPT. So basically you're able to go into the OEM Toyota British pipe thread 
to any of the JDM style uh, AEM sensors or connectors you're going to be using for this. Uh, let it be oil feed, oil pressure, uh, oil temperature, any of those, you're going to need this kind of a set of, of an adapter. So what we've done now is originally we had our, our adapter that was in the oil filter housing. You can see there, you, you'll run a DVTI um, bolt right here that goes to your oil filter housing and you can actually screw in a 1 8 BSP um, adapter. We saw that one too in a 90 degree. I know it's kind of hard to see because there's a lot of stuff going on, but you can see right there where it adapts. Um, try to click on it for you guys. Yeah. So anyways, um, we've already went ahead and removed the fitting that goes in the block right here. Um, you kind of can't see it, but where Alex's hand is right there is where it is. Um, that's going to be your OEM oil pressure um, sensor for the cluster. So we're going to go ahead and put this fitting in right now. And uh, we're going to be able to put our sensor in there now. And we'll just cap the other one off for right now. But we, we make them with uh, two ports because typically we'll use this for oil feed and then one for your oil pressure. So that's kind of why it's like that. So, Okay guys, so Danny's here. We got the system all plugged in over here, getting everything registered and set up. And uh, his car engine's all stripped down right now. So we're gonna be getting it first starts right now on the Infinity, and then we have a little bit more work to do after. So stay tuned. All right, so BTI is installed. Uh, just kind of plugged in for now. We're gonna go ahead and set it up. And um, Danny went ahead and got it all idling super, super good. Way better than it was before. It sounds awesome. Get it all back together. All right, guys. So I kind of had this little idea. I'm uh, making a little fiberglass piece right here and fiberglassing the little panels in right here because I went ahead and removed the AC vents to get his BTI uh, MK3 unit to fit in this. This is kind of like the first run of trying to see if this unit will work in this. So obviously the fiberglass has to dry. It's going to take a little while. Um, so I've already kind of set it all up. I have to tr trim all this stuff off at the end uh, and then I'll have to shave out the section that I'm gonna need to make the BTI fit and clip in and then just run two screws through it. It should look pretty good when I'm done. I'll be able to, to sand it, put a little bit of primer on it, paint it black maybe, and uh, bolt it in the car. It should look really, really cool. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Well, after a huge mess of basically dremeling out fiberglass out of this panel that I just made, I went ahead and cleaned this thing up, Um, you know, uh, not quite perfect. I think I over dremeled it, but uh, that's not too hard to fix later. So uh, you can see right here, it's already all been cut out. Got the BTI unit there that we're going to be using for this thing for now. And with it facing up right here, it pretty much just goes right into the panel. So I mean, mind you, <laughs> there is a big old gap on this side that I'm gonna have to fill up right now. But all in all, you look at it, it doesn't look too bad. So this is just like a little prototype thing that I had for like kind of what I had. I mean, you can even see right here when I cast the fiberglass, I had an air pocket in there and stuff too. So it's not gonna be perfect for my first run, but I mean, it's going to work for the idea that the customer will be able to see his gauges when he drives. Um, kind of a lot of work for just kind of nothing, but I mean, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, I guess give it some quick paint and get it clipped in the car for now. So we can at least just get it done for dyno. And then we'll have to go back with some more fiberglass, a little bit of Bondo and make this thing look really, really smooth at the end. All right, guys. So good morning. It is uh, Wednesday morning and we're getting ready for dyno. The exhaust manifold gasket on the engine actually is blown out. So luckily I had had these here already for one of my other customers, OEM Toyota. Uh, these are kind of hard to get now. So I had them from Australia, shipped in a, a while ago. Um, so we're here early to get this done before we go to dyno. And uh, I have a few little button up things I need to do still before we're gonna leave, but this is pretty much gonna be finished product. So let's hope we can get this done and get over to Danny's in a you know, reasonable amount of time. So we're almost gonna get the manifold out right now. And I wanted to show you guys the exhaust manifold gasket part number. For 1JZ non BBTI, this is the OEM Toyota part number, guys, if you want to look it up. So there, a little bit of help. All right, guys, so we got one of these super cool LRB uh, rear seat deletes we're going to be installing in Alex's car right now. We've already kind of mocked it up to save the whole hassle of getting everything done. So these side pieces go down here uh, under your OEM 
part where you have here, this panel will slide in uh, underneath. And then you have these two little kind of like V mount sets that go right there. It's actually gonna cover all this up, unfortunately. So even though it's looking pretty cool back here, um, I'll cut it out later. We'll cut it out later, yeah. So <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead and fire this up uh, in a bit too. This is all done. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks okay. So I think it'll be really, really nice to be able to see and just monitor everything while you're driving. So for now, we'll probably wrap it later and make it look a little bit nicer, but I'll fire that up in a second after we're done putting this in because we just went ahead and got the 91 Octane to get the car started on uh, Infinity with the 91. So tomorrow morning we'll be on Dyna. Let's check the E85 content. We are at, oh, we gotta start it probably. It says E89 right now, we need to start it, hold on. All right, so E31 and going down. Let's hope we can get down to E15, E10 would be great. Let's let it circulate. Damn, bro, I was at a thousand. Oh, right. I was right at a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, we're at E16. E15. <laughs> Great. You happy? Oh, ow, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so his car's running on the 2100s right now. This is on uh, 91 octane, so like E15, E10, and uh, we went ahead and got the now you guys already saw this. We already got a, the rear seat deletes done. All of the interior stuff's the way we want it. it looks super, super good. I'm so he's happy with it. And um, everything in here, exhaust leak is fixed. No more weird noises, no more weird anything. All new, uh, put the new drain on the turbo, a whole bunch of other stuff we need to do, do, do too, just to make sure we're gonna be good for tomorrow. On that and tomorrow with this car. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get back to you guys in the morning because it's already about six, seven o'clock. I'm ready to go home. It was really, really hot today, like super humid, like a, probably about hundred degrees outside. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just let it burn off all the crap on the manifold. Go ahead and lock up the shop and go home and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right guys, so it's morning, uh, cars idling. Everything's been already all cleaned up. So we're gonna go ahead and get on our way to Danny's right now. It's about nine o'clock. Uh, we're running a little bit behind schedule but the car's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow him right now, get some rollers of us getting over there, and then we'll get it right on dyno and get going. All right guys, so we just got here to pick the USA. Cars on the dyno. Uh, can't wait to see what the outcome is. All kinds of shit going on over here today. So um, let's get right into it.
Looks like uh, Alex is gonna go ahead and cut it already because he's like wants to save everything from being overly pushed. So we did uh, 656 with uh, 534 foot pounds of torque um, at 20 psi on a really still very moderately conserved tune. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave it here, I guess. Um, the I don't know what you wanted to do. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it there and uh, set the T-step stuff later and everything else and the car is gonna go home. All right guys, well sorry for the lighting. I'm driving home, it's late, I'm ready for bed. So until next time guys, thanks for watching, peace.